Right. So Andrew was at the Make It Fair, and so was Chris and Claire. And this is Claire's run out of the building. So tell us about the Make It Fair, please, Andy. Um, I don't know if uh, you're all aware of what Make It Fairs are. Um, basically, it's just it's a gathering of people that make things. Uh, it's not just technical stuff. You can make stuff. I don't know, there was people recycling, making wallets out of orange cartons and recycling stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of people doing stuff with artwork um, and instruments. Some uh, person who made a huge xylophone and was controlling it through an Arduino. Um, what else was there? Well, they were making mini crazy golf courses. I don't know if any of you have heard of Minecraft, the game. Um, but basically made a theme of this uh, crazy golf course uh, for Minecraft. Um, this guy who'd done a, a mirror mask so basically he had his Arduino and he was using OpenCV to track your eyes. And what have you did, the mask copied, so you turn your head, you move the head around. Um, what else was there? Put me on the spot. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a game, so you sit on this bicycle and you basically play Pong just by using pedalling the, the bicycles. Uh, uh, well, there was uh, a giant version of Operation, I think it was the uh, MATLAB, um, you know, the old the game where you have to try and pull bones out of the, pe uh, out of the game, where they made a huge one out of a mannequin, and uh, you've got a big pair of metal tongs, so you had to try and uh, pull the bits out of it, that was quite fun, and they had like the big Etch-a-Sketch, um, and there was a guy who done like a drum, a percussion instrument, so you press the button, you have little drums, using relays, you can play the drums. Um, there's lots of 3D printers. Um, uh, Did you see any 3D printers powered by a Raspberry Pi? No, no, yeah, no, no, no. I think, talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think there's a couple of people there who have taken the rep wraps, these, uh, the idea is basically get a the rep wrap and you should be able to reproduce it by printing the components to make another one. So you get buy one, print the pots, and then all you have to do is buy the electronics to make another one. Well, some guy basically, uh, he was trying to make a cheaper version, just using laser cut boards, it was a bit more sturdy. It also allowed for a bit more surface area to uh, do printing, so there was uh, that there. Um, <laughs> uh, Chris, anything to add? Or? Well, no, it, it got me thinking as so I was at the Mix as well, yeah. and um, there's a lot of uh, very interesting cargo projects, not all involved in the like, like Arduino and things like that. And um, I was thinking if people like myself wanted to get into some hardware projects, you know, like, you know, like this thing at the time, um, how would I go about it? I would really do with something like a uh, Preston hack space or something. You know, the Magic's got Mad Lab and Hack Man and things like that. And that's where a lot of these projects get divided. You get divided in hack space, but we don't have anything like that in Preston. So just want to sort of chuck the idea out, see see just how how receptive people are to the idea of the Preston hack space. Maybe we could go about it and set up, perhaps uh, maybe get the university involved. Yeah, I, I think know. the university became that. Yeah, because you know, people third year project perhaps people could use it for that. Mm -hmm. Because there's definitely the people out there who's just passed the spread of the word out to get the, get the word out. There's, there's a, and there's a group in Manchester called Hackman, or Hack yeah, Manchester, yeah. and they've been based at Mad Lab for probably about three or four years. Yeah, they've just got they, themselves in That's right, they've just moved just into three doors down or something. Or something. It's amazing when you go in there, you see all the <laughs> kit that they have, and they have this giant etch a sketch. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I was, yeah. yeah. And the Space Invaders console with the insides all ripped out. But there's lots of, um, you, you, you kind of feel inspired when you go in and start building stuff. And they've got stacks of make magazines <coughs> as well with all tutorials about how to do it. So that type of thing is big in America, isn't it? And, uh, it's all sort of dwindling, uh, spreading over to here. But like I said, like I said it's, Preston not, doesn't have anything like that really. Maybe soon. Yeah. Thank you very Maybe. much, Andrew. <laughs>